What's up? What's up, beautiful people? This is your girl, Stephanie, a.k.a. E.D. Nihastu. Grab my mic. This is a card missing. I was just wondering what it was from a deck that I keep in my car. That I have in my car. That I switch it out. <sighs> been using without with a card missing what card was missing but anyway um we're back into the uh trying to get back into the turbo reads uh water signs scorpio is what's up so let's get into the messages divine forces of unconditional love light peace with health prosperity and everything good lovely and wonderful what does the scorpio family family need to know for their highest good at this time what uh energy is the scorpio collective bringing <laughs> excuse me to the entire collective please and thank you for clear and accurate messages let's get into it what's on the bottom so we have nine of swords um is there something that you're have some anxiety about some sleepless nights about that you're um, thinking about really um, that you're kind of overthinking about and no matter what it is I do see that you are in your warrior energy you know because the first card out is the king of wands and we know the king of wands play no games okay king of wands will protect his uh, kingdom at all costs so um, and whatever it is you guys will be victorious in it because the card that just came out to clarify the king of wands is the six of wands which is victory you know victory in in battles in, in the war victory in the war maybe fought many battles but you've won the war Okay, this could be an internal battle or one in, um, that has to do with a relationship. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands. So there's going to be renewed energy, renewed strength, renewed inspiration that's going to come forth. Um, so I do feel like it is, has something to do with the relationship because we do have the Two of Cups. Or then again, like I said, this could have to do with, you know, just that internal battle with self and with um, coming into union with self and with your higher self I feel like um, the, the, the hard time the tough times are over wish fulfillment is coming in for you An opportunity that's going to bring major transformation. Let's get clarity on that. Yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity that's coming in that's going to help bring major transformation. I feel like you guys have been on a spiritual journey. And, had, and have had to face maybe a dark night of the soul moment in your growth and in your evolution. In which you may have had to retreat from, you know, family, friends, just people who are not on that journey to journey of growth and evolution. All right, Scorpio. I feel like y'all have really grown. I feel like this is more of a spiritual journey. I feel like Scorpio. Scorpio's brought that energy of spiritual growth. Exactly. 
because we have the eight of wands here it's clarified by the queen of wands ten of cups and the strength card you guys have put in the spiritual work you know what i'm saying in regards to using your discernment using your intuition when it comes to certain people when it comes to family and friends you are like in that energy of like i'm not putting up with no more mess <laughs> i'm not putting up with the mess i'm not putting up with toxicity i'm not putting up with people who do not value me any longer i feel like you guys have made up your mind and so you're no longer in this depressed depressed energy you have really found your grounding and really found your footing as we have the four of cups here clarified by the king of wands king of pentacles i'm sorry oh y'all ain't playing no games with people and with you guys putting your foot down with love you know for the highest good of all but you definitely are you know prioritizing your energy you know you are you know moving forward your ships are, are able to come in now because you have gotten rid of you know the toxic top from you know toxic people and you're moving forward and you're investing your energy in things that are going to bring you happiness and healing sun card okay so again i feel like this is more of a personal message um not necessarily that has to do with a relationship i mean a, a lover's relationship it has to do i feel like it has to do with multiple relationships that are close with you but in regards to a relationship you definitely are not putting up with any bull any longer okay um i'm gonna get more clarity on that but i just want to pull an oracle card we have a legacy of light exactly you're focused you're focused on you know your legacy at this time <laughs> You're like in the energy of being of no nonsense, you know. And your ancestors are here helping you balance things out and move forward, you know, doing doing things in moderation. Like I feel like you've put up with a lot of BS for a very long time, and now you're you're just moving forward. You are like really in this no nonsense energy, and that's what. That's the message that Scorpio is bringing to the collective. Being that no nonsense energy because look at that. Bottom of the deck, Empress. You are worthy of the best and nothing is too good for you. You are claiming your birthright. And you're ready to move forward in a way that is going to leave a legacy of life. So let's read the message that comes with that. And that's 53. It says, you are called to bear light, to carry carry forward the legacy of a spiritual lineage of wisdom and deep service to the earth you're a part of that spiritual lineage a belonging that extends through generations past and generations yet to come honor the importance of your task and realize that you are a light bearer and i feel like you have and you're stepping into that power that you carry a legacy of consciousness and embodiment of light upon this earth to share for the betterment of future generations and you can't do that with people that are heavy around you that are toxic around you that are constantly trying to bring you down because they don't want to do the internal work to face that dark night of the soul to face their shadow but as a scorpio you have no problems doing that you know what i'm saying you're kind of born into the darkness and, and you're pulling your way out of it and so people who aren't you know if you're not changing it you're choosing it so when you see people that are around the people that you see around you that are not you know changing it and trying to do things for the better you, you're noticing you like okay at this point you're choosing this and I can't allow you to uh, continue to give me this woe is me story because you want attention because you want sympathy no when you're ready to work on it let's get to it we can get to it but until then I'm just dis distancing myself you know because you have a lineage you have you know service to the earth like I said you you you, you carrying forward a legacy of spirit spiritual lineage a spiritual lineage of wisdom and deep service you know and you can't get stuck trying to help these people that are purposely not doing what they need to do 
It says, may the ancestors of your lineage bless you with unconditional love and devotion as you carry the light forward now. Be blessed. This oracle says that you have connected more powerfully with the source of spiritual guidance and instruction that is helping you full helping you full activate your divine life mission and purpose exactly it's activated at this point and you have like i said you have a mission and a purpose and you can't allow people who are stuck to continue to be a distraction to you anymore it says it is confirmation that however you are choosing to live your life is in service to the light whether it be obviously so to others or not and that your personal growth and spiritual path are helping the greater human ev soul evolve you know people need to people more people need to be exposed to you exposed to your light just exposed to your energy so that you can help humanity you can't be stuck with this one person because of loyalty or because you know they may be blood to you or you just known them for a long time you can't allow them to keep you stuck you know you need to step out and to share your wisdom with the world more you are acknowledged as a jewel of light upon this earth an important link in heavenly in a heavenly chain of divine awakening you're here to help awaken people this oracle also brings confirmation if needed that relationship issues that are arising for you now are not only about your own personal healing but about healing the emotional legacy of your ancestral lines exactly your own personal healing as in you know claiming back your power saying you know no you can't take advantage of me like this anymore I'm setting healthy boundaries and if you do not if you continue to cross the line I will have to remove you from my life you know type stuff to do this you may wish to journal dance meditate or dedicate a yoga practice to the healing of your ancestral inheritance and ask that your own relationships be assisted through the karmic grace of your ancestors you know, calling uh, your ancestors to give grace to those karmic relationships and to to step into more consciousness of love now it says i measure time in years and memories and good friends thanks for helping me to see i can count the special ones on my hand that I can count on you. So it's about, you know, finding those people that you can count on. If there's people around you that, you know, aren't adding to good memories and that you can't classify as a good friend, then you may need to separate yourself for a moment. If there are people that you can't count on, like you need, you don't have, you don't, you should not be the one carrying the full burden you know of everything bottom of this deck we have 45 which is hidden beauty it says you are glimpsing beauty and yet there is more to be revealed there is more than what you are currently seeing possibly because of the blockage you know of the people around the dark attachments that are on them have all the darkness around you and you can't see the vision it says to attempt to force the vision would prevent you from seeing what is being revealed be patient and look more closely soften your heart and ask to be shown the beauty in the situation that is being shown to you wait let the vision come alive and you shall witness what was once hidden this oracle brings you a suggestion from divine guidance you may think you see the whole picture, but if you look deeper, you shall see something that brings you much joy, hope, and reassurance. There is a more beautiful perspective here that affirms and nourishes you in all involved in the situations of your life that are puzzling, puzzling you at the present. Take heed and relax. All is meant to be, and soon you will be able to see. All right. 
So again, like I said, there's some relationships that may be, that are you know quite burdensome, but spirit says be patient. There's something that is going to be revealed that's going to help you to step into your power to really face those shadows and to ground yourself you know ground yourself in understanding why you have had to deal with these karmic relationships and learn the lesson that you're supposed to learn while in those in that situation you know you may not possibly you may not be you know leaving the situation but i feel like there is an awakening of how of a, a deeper understanding a deeper consciousness of you know certain energies and so you're able to have more peace because you are able to see things from a bigger picture from a higher perspective which will allow you know you to exist with these people and those little things those little nu nuances that they do that would normally you know maybe irk you or aggravate you or have you in this anxiety and worry about you know these people you understand it on a deep on a deeper level you're able to tolerate it it's like it, it doesn't even phase you anymore it's like which will which opens up your energy more for you to focus on you for you to grow there's a new perspective i feel that spirit is downloading you with uh scorpio in the fact that and and also it comes with you being more aware of your your mission and your purpose in life as well like you're growing a deeper understanding of your mission and your purpose in life and so you have your eyes on the prize and with this newfound you know awakening to such again the little small distractions you don't allow to occupy your energy you don't spend much energy on that you don't invest that much time into it anymore you just you know can sympathize with those people and where they are in their journey of growth and in life you can sympathize and you can empathize but you don't allow that energy to overtake you any longer i feel like that is the lesson that you have learned and that a lesson that you're growing deeper in and the lesson that you are able to perhaps teach other people so that we can all become in alignment so that we can keep elevating the energy here on earth you know because like I said, you are here to help humanity, to be of service. So, you know, live by example. With this understanding and this awakening, the hard part is over. And your, your you know, wish fulfillment is here for you. Abundance with the Empress card is here for you. You know? Yep. And it's not, it's a little bit easier for you to, you know, take the time out for yourself to, you know, have a sense of a, a healthy selfishness. At first, I feel like you felt like you um, had to bend over backwards for people, but now you have found the strength through all the battles you fought to stand up for yourself and to say what you mean and mean what you say um, and not allow people to use your energy for their benefit. You've done the spiritual work to get in tune with the higher source and so now you have a different outlook on life. Which is, you know, again, 
something I feel like a lot of people in your family lineage may have, you know, allowed themselves to be enslaved to in regards to, you know, other family members or validation from them. Now you're in a space to where you can do your spiritual work and whatever gifts that may be for you, you know, use that. But also if the time comes, if spirit is push you in, pushing you in that direction, you can walk away and not feel obligated to stay in one place because I feel like there is going to be a calling for you to spread your word and you may have to move to do that but I feel like spirit is preparing you for that Pre preparing you to take your me message maybe internationally <laughs> excuse me you know and that your you know message will reach internationally nationally even if you don't move out you know that far but at the same time all of the lessons that you're learning with these close friends and family members is going to help you when you're when you start getting even more exposure because there's going to be even more energies coming and pulling and tugging at you but if you master it now within your small circle you'll be able to be more equipped for when there's more energies that has their eye on you that you may be exposed to so you know i just say keep keep doing the keep doing the good work like i said you have a legacy of light and there's like i said this hidden beauty there's hidden beauty in in the struggles that you're going through right now the beauty is the lessons the beauty is the preparation that you know that is providing you because you have a, a, a big purpose here on this earth. You know. Be patient. Make sure you do the introspection that you need. Take accountability for the things that you need to take accountability for. And keep growing. So that you can find when you're stable within self, home is anywhere you go. All right. So that I feel like is where you're heading, what you're evolving into. And it's a beautiful thing. All right, Scorpio. Hope that gave, you know, a little insight here and there. Pray that you had a great day off and good eating day. Time with family day on yesterday. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. I love you all. I got to do my, rip, my, my usual salutation. I love you all. And until next time, peace. Can't stop it now.